Any parrot heads out there watching this, let me know in the comments. If you're a true Jimmy Buffett fan, let me know. I am a cooking channel. I figured the best tribute I could give to Jimmy Buffett, some music I have been loving for many, many decades, I figured I would do his cheeseburger in paradise. It's really a fictional burger. And actually, if you know the background on the story, it's pretty interesting. Jimmy Buffett was actually at sea in his sailboat with some other people and ran into bad weather. The boat was disabled. They were living off canned goods. They were living off peanut butter, just whatever they had left. And they were getting hungry. And so he was having these visions and dreams of like this ultimate burger in his mind. And in the lyrics, he went on to describe exactly how he wanted his burger. And that's what we're going to recreate right here today. Y'all stay tuned. Before I get started with the cheeseburger and paradise burger, I just want to talk a few minutes, a little background about things you might or might not know. First off, Jimmy Buffett was born in Pascagoula, Mississippi, 19. 46. That was the same town I was born and raised in, Pascagoula, Mississippi, right on the Gulf Coast. So not only was Jimmy Buffett born in my hometown, he was also born in the same old hospital I was born in 12 years later in 1958. 1959, there was a new hospital opened up on Highway 90 in Pascagoula, and it has expanded over the years, but it's still there today. This is what it looks like. My earliest memories of Jimmy Buffett music was in 1977. With me, I just automatically gravitated towards it because I was already living the life that he was describing, the salt life. I was doing everything that he was all about and what his music was all about. I was an avid surfer from the mid 1970s all the way up to the late 1980s. I was and I still am a certified open water diver, still certified to this day. And something else that I have enjoyed since I was old enough to walk is fishing. I was raised by a family that loved to fish, whether it was fresh water or salt water, but primarily it was salt water. I love to fish even today. At 18 years old, 1976, working aboard NOAA's Oregon II research vessel, man, that was such a wonderful job. Sometimes I look back and regret ever leaving that job. But more recent times, we did own a couple of sailboats, enjoyed that immensely. There's nothing no more peaceful than sailing without a motor running and the winds got you and, and you're heading somewhere. I just absolutely love it. So therefore, everything I'm telling you resonated with me on the Jimmy Buffett songs then and now. A few days ago, me and my wife went to Pascagoula, which is about 20 miles east of Biloxi where I currently live. And when we went there, we went and found Jimmy Buffett's old birthplace, his home that he lived in, him and the Buffett family. It's at 1305 Roosevelt Street, Pascagoula, Mississippi. If you're ever in that era, if you want to see it, it's still there. And no one's living in it. I think possibly the city owns that now because it's more like a museum. They even have a plaque in the front yard on some poles, some stanchions. But once we left that area, we drove down Beach Boulevard there in Pascagoula, heading east, and we come up on the Buffett Bridge. Jimmy Buffett returned back to Pascagoula in September of 2015 to do not only a concert on the beach in his hometown, but he was also doing a dedication for this bridge that was named in his honor, the Buffett Bridge. Now let me tell you the story behind this little small bridge with lots of significance. His grandfather was a real actual ship captain. And one day while visiting, him and Jimmy walked into the back shed. He went to an old cedar chest and he pulled out some old nautical maps that he treasured from all his trips around the world. And he broke out a map and then him and Jimmy took a back path down the backyard to Baptiste Bayou. It was a short walk from where they lived and they come up on this crabbing pier where his grandpa used to take Jimmy crabbing. And he told him, he says, look at this map and you tell me where we're at, where are we? And Jimmy Buffett pointed at it, said, we're in Pascagoula, Mississippi. He goes, well, look closer. He says, you see this little tiny bayou right here? 
He said, this bayou will take you into the Mississippi Sound and on out to the Gulf of Mexico. And from there, you can go anywhere in the world. The world can be yours if you want it to be. And the rest is Jimmy Buffett history. And so, you know, around five years old is when Jimmy Buffett and his family moved to Mobile, Alabama, which is 40 miles further east from Pascagoula. And he spent a lot of his years there in Mobile, then eventually they moved to Fairhope, Alabama. And I don't know if you're familiar with Lulu's, but that's his sister Lucy, and she owns Lulu, I think it's Orange Beach, Alabama. And Derek has been there. He's actually got some sailing footage when he took our sailboat into Lulu's four or five years ago. Speaking of Jimmy Buffett, most of y'all know that's been following this channel, knew that I was in the sailboat and sitting there to sail down Florida and all. And that's where I learned my love for Jimmy Buffett. My favorite song by him was A Pirate Turns 40. I pulled off at Lulu's and he had Jimmy Buffett's sailboat sitting out there. Really? To this day, that sailboat is still at Lulu's if anyone's ever in that neighborhood. Yeah, I like to check it out myself. It's pretty cool. All right, let's do this burger. Let's get it done. So I'm starting with this burgerine. I got 80-20 ground chuck. If you read the lyrics to Cheeseburger in Paradise, Jimmy says he wants a big hunk of meat. That's in the lyrics. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt, pepper, and get some more patties done. We'll meet you here at the griddle in just a second. By the way, I am using the Pits and Spits adjustable flat top grill along with the Pits and Spits griddle. So I lubricated the griddle with some avocado oil. It's a high temp oil. We're gonna go down with these patties. Add a little salt and pepper on this side. Now in the lyrics, it says medium rare. Now I like mine a little bit more medium rare because it is ground beef, so I'm gonna venture away from the medium rare and go more of a medium. So as Jimmy describes his burger, somewhere in there, there is French fried potatoes involved. So we're gonna go ahead and do some French fried potatoes. He also said Munster would be nice, so we've got Munster cheese. A lot of people think he is saying mustard. He is in fact saying Munster. This won't take but a second. Let's get a little melt on it. Let's close the lid down. Got a very light toast on these, just enough to get them warm. They're definitely warm. He likes his with Heinz 57. Let's go down with a patty. All right, so we got the warm bun, the hunk of meat, and the Munster taken care of. Go down with a little lettuce, a tomato. Heaven on earth is an onion slice. Now I want to put some more of this sauce on the top bun. Heck yeah, let's crown it. And we're going to put the final touch right there. Cheeseburger in paradise, french fried potatoes, and a big kosher pickle. Jimmy Buffett says cold draft beer. I don't have a keg of beer around me, so I figured it'd be better to use Jimmy Buffett's very own Land Shark brewed at the Margaritaville Brewing Company. All right, let's move our little umbrella. Let's see what this burger is all about. Well, I know one thing. I totally understand why he was craving this, stranded at sea on his sailboat. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Man. And guess what? We still got a little medium rare there. More medium. French fried potatoes. Well, I'll say one thing, he knows how to build a good burger. I've got to tell you, I have really enjoyed this video. It brought back a flood of memories from my life over the years. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. Rest in peace, Jimmy Buffett. Fins up.